Tim, welcome to Watch You Want, and thanks for logging on. Today, I've got a real treat for you. Personally, this is one of the most striking non-Royal Oak, non-offshore Audemars Piguet references I've seen. But you're looking at the 43mm Rose Gold Reference 26003OR Audemars Piguet Jules Audemars Equation of Time and Perpetual Calendar. You can see it and you can buy it on our website, WatchYouWant.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now in 2000, Audemars Piguet debuted the first wristwatch that combined an equation of time complication with sunrise sunset indicators, locally specific of course, and a perpetual calendar. Now in terms of the fit, arguably the most complicated aspect of any watch, this is actually an outstanding confluence of a large case size and excellent ergonomics. That might be the most impressive melding that Audemars Piguet pulled off here, because on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see how evenly the watch sits. You can see how gen basically generously curved the downturned tips of these lugs are to allow the watch to basically bend around a smaller wrist. Now, it's 11.5 millimeters thick. It is 50 millimeters from lug to lug, so it has borderline oversized proportions, and 43 millimeters across the round portion of the case, you can see in this overhead shot, that it does fill up the entire wrist. If you're looking for a big watch that is very modern in its size and stance, but you just don't like the sports watch genre. You want a dress style watch, you want something formal, perhaps a little bit more versatile than loud and proud. Well, the Jules Audemars Equation of Time, 43 millimeters in rose gold, gives you a sensuous, traditionally styled case that makes no apologies when it comes to its modern size. A really nice combination. Now you can see that the strap finds a nice middle ground between a conforming spring bar and freedom of movement. It's a semi-conforming system and you can see aesthetically it minimizes the gap between the flank of the case and the end of the strap without in any way impeding the ability of the strap to pull straight down perpendicular to the horizontal plane of the case to get around a smaller wrist and to that end Audemars Piguet has used a beautiful and very supple very flat unpadded unbolstered alligator rectangular scale strap with calf undersides, it's very soft, and because it is so thin and so fine, it has no trouble curving dramatically to conform to the soft underside of a tighter wrist bend on a smaller wrist. Again, my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see that it fits beautifully, the strap bends easily, and although it fills my entire wrist, it does not overlap the periphery at the edges of my skin. So a good fit, and a watch like this with a case this beautiful, it's going to appeal to many different wrist sizes. Rest assured, if you have a smaller one, you're going to have no trouble wearing the watch. Now, AP gives a full deployant in matching 18 karat rose gold of the highest quality. It features the inset AP initial logo. Entirely polished, there is not an unfinished surface on any portion of this clasp. You can see that within the swing arms, the underside of the buckle, the inside of the parallels of the buckle on each side, polished to a high shine. And that really speaks to the level of quality that AP invests in this watch, because it is a flagship complication, and it is one of the premier offerings outside of the Royal Oak range. It bears the name of the founder, let's not forget. Now in 2000, the first generation Equation of Time Perpetual Calendar was a 39 millimeter case. Now stepped up to 43, AP uses this broader dial to good effect creating depth and distinction using a combination of a generously sloped conical chapter ring featuring the longitude cammed location of this particular watch's sunset, sunrise, and equation of time, as well as a scale of 0 to 15 minutes, 15 minutes negative and 15 minutes positive. Essentially, what the equation of time does is it represents the deviation for any given physical spot on the Earth's surface between mean civil time or the official time of day within your time zone and solar time which is the actual position of the sun relative to directly overhead. Now you can see New York is 11 hours and 55 minutes and that is the specific time offset for New York so you can see that zero the point of zero deviation between the two is going to be five minutes offset for that location from 12 noon. Now beyond that specific and somewhat esoteric equation of time. Remember, 
the sun is always moving around and it's going to be in a slightly different place every day, hence the deviation between the point at which the sun is directly overhead and mean civil time for your spot. So it wanders there, are, I believe, four times per year when it coincides. But beyond that complication, the sunset and the sunrise is geographically specific. And so this one is cammed for New York. It can be reprogrammed by being sent back to Audemars Piguet. So although it is fixed within the movement, it is not so deeply ingrained within the movement that an individual watch such as this one cannot be reset to a different location. The sunrise, sunset, likewise, can be recammed. What the watch cannot accomplish is the distinction between daylight savings time before and after the reset. Uh, as of right now, Audemars Piguet doesn't accommodate that particular distinction. In fact, not every U.S. state even observes it, so that's a very geographically specific uh, distinction, not based so much on mathematics as political expedience. Aside from the complications themselves, which include a leap year indicator, day, date, month, and moon phase, the watch features immense textural distinction between the circular brushed hour track with its applied rose gold Roman numerals and the elaborately rose engine turned guilloche center of the dial. Now each one of the subdials features its own guilloche as well as an inset to give additional depth to the dial. And you can see the beautiful moon phase. In this case, it's actually a sapphire crystal in its own right with a special PVD treatment on top of it to create additional luster, distinction, and it really pops. There's a spectacular use of color here. You can see that the 31 on the date wheel, the date track of this subdial, really explodes. The cobalt heat blued hands likewise offer fantastic contrast against the cool silver background. The rose gold elements add richness and of course the romance of the golden and blue, really rich night blue moon phase pops at the 12 o'clock station of this dial. A gorgeous piece. There's a lot going on in contrast of tone and texture and depth and color. Turn it over and the second part of the show lights up like the night sky. This is the Audemars Piguet Caliber 2120 with module 2808 of AP Zone Manufacture. Beautifully made entirely in-house. It is based on the old JLC 920 ultra thin automatic movement, but AP owns the rights to produce this movement and they own the equipment to produce it now. Effectively, AP, which helped to fund and develop the original with JLC, now owns this and effectively controls distribution of it. So this is an AP movement through and through at this point. Also beautifully finished, you can see that the rotor features both skeletonization and hand engraving. And beneath, the movement is finished to the highest standards in Valet de Jeu tradition. Tight and even prolage across the base plate. Beautiful graining of the wheels, radial and circular as appropriate on train and crown and ratchet wheels. There's gorgeous anglage, really mirror finished on every edge. You can see it lighting up on the edge of the winding system bridge and the balance cock. Mirror polished, quite rich. All the screw heads likewise, black polished for exceptional radiance when you hit that particular angle. Their slots beautifully slotted, their edges camfered. This is exquisite finishing and it's exactly what you'll find on the back of an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Jumbo, the original Ultra Thin. What you won't find on the Jumbo is the perpetual calendar module under the dial. Now I've seen photos of these watches torn down and I can confirm that even though you'll never see the finish on the module components, they are executed to the same degree of virtuosity from an aesthetic standpoint as the movement itself. And even though this is a complex modular movement with over 400 parts, 425 to be specific, the entire thing built up remains only 5.35 millimeters thick, which is to say the entire perpetual calendar equation of time, moon phase, automatic sunrise, sunset caliber is still thinner than a time and date Rolex automatic 3135. It's that impressive. And with a free sprung gyromax style balance wheel, bi-directional winding for smoothness on the wrist, a 40 hour power reserve, and a charmingly archaic 19,800 vibration per hour beat rate. This is a great combination of aesthetic and technical refinement. You can see this Audemars Piguet Jules Audemars Equation of Time, 43 millimeters in 18 karat rose gold on our website, watchyouwant.com.